Welcome. In this lecture, I'd like to talk about what we mean by the Euclidean, also called coordinate plane in R2. Or, sorry, coordinate plane R2. <laughs> it's called also R2. That's the notation for it. Okay, so what is the point of this? So sometimes... We want to talk about, or to keep track of two numbers, to keep track of two numbers at a time. And actually the relationship between them, okay? which is kind of recorded in the order, um, so the relationship between them. So, what is this? Okay, so, uh, to jump right in, so the Euclidean, yeah, I do want to do it over here. Okay, so the Euclidean, right, uh, also called coordinate, plane R2. Okay, so what is this? Well, so we, we have two axes that we label, and they might not be X and Y. Often we like um, to start with them as X and Y, but this is, actually isn't 100% uh, necessary. In fact, a lot of times, um, your horizontal axis might be time. That's another thing that we often want to keep track of. Okay, so this would be our first step. Axis, and then we'd have a second axis, so this would be your y-axis, but we'll start with them being called x and y for now, okay? And then usually you want to kind of label this with uh, some numbers to give you a, uh, a bit of a view of what the scale is. Minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. Um, I think based on my examples, I'm going to want to go a little bit further, so go i use our plot for that. So minus 4, minus 5, minus 6. Okay, and then we're going to want some numbers, right? So we need a scale here for our second coordinate. And then like this. And one of the things you'll notice is that positive numbers are to the right and up and negative numbers are to the left and down. But there's, this is going to be, you're gonna, your point is going to consist of the data of both your left, right, that'll be your first coordinate, and your up, down, which will be your second coordinate. Okay, so let's look at an example. So we can take a number, so here, what do we have going on at this particular point? So I'm looking at this point here, so I'm going to write this, um, with these kinds of brackets and a comma in between, in the first one I'm going to record, this is going to be, right, um, this is going to tell me that I'm going to the right pi units. So this says I'm going to the right pi units. And then I have a second, so we have one. Okay. Um, and this tells me that I go up because it's in the second place, right? The first coordinate told me right or left. If it's right is positive, left is negative. The second in coordinate um, is going to tell me how far up or down. So positive up, negative down. This is positive, and this is telling me that I went up, right? From the origin or the center, I went up one unit. Okay. But we can also deal with, so what happens when we're dealing with the negative numbers? Um, so over here, I could have, for example, um, so I think some are here, and then I'm trying to figure out which numbers I have. So I think it's, this should sit right here. Okay, so what sits right here? Well, I'm actually going to have here, and I'm going to put funny numbers in here. Minus 2, this is E, this is the... Um, it's as in the exponential function, it's a very important number. It shows up a lot in a lot of equations. Okay. okay, so what is this telling me here? 
Um, so this one here, right, tells me I'm going to the left, minus two E units. Okay, so this one tells me that I'm going, right, the first coordinate, this is my left or right, because it's negative, it's to the left. So to the left, minus two E units. Okay, and then here, this is going, uh, because there's a minus, and it's the second coordinate, this one tells me that I'm going to go down five halves units. So down five halves units. Okay, so we first coordinate, left or right, from the origin. Second coordinate, up or down, from the origin, uh, right is positive, left is negative, up is positive, down is negative. Okay, so here's something that's kind of important in here that, that shows up in places, particularly when you're looking at graphs of functions. So important. Okay, that by drawing, right, the point pi one, as I did, I drew this point, so I drew a point pi 1. Okay, I, I drew that point there. What am I really saying? We could be indicating. So we could be indicating that so if x equals pi, then, right, so if x equals pi, then y equals 1. So then y equals 1. Okay? And this is, um, so this is going to be, this is important and relevant. So an underlying idea. Um, when we're talking... about graphs of functions. Okay, so this is the coordinate plane and actually the really kind of embedded in the order is a relationship, um, like an if-then relationship almost, as in or an input-output relationship. So my, if my input is pi, then my output is 1. So that can show up in functions. It can show up in other kinds of settings. Um, and so it's another important way that we use the coordinate plane. Okay, so that made some sense. And I will see you in the next lecture. lecture.